Hi, I'm Sean Wilson with Shavik Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make paper jewelry. So, you'll, for materials I like to use a copper wire for the frame. Then you'll need um, your image for your necklace and then paper for the paper beads of course. And then I have um, clear coat paint to put over the finished project, beads to string it with and then stringing wire and then of course your tools. The first step is to make the frame for the pendant and I'm going to use a heavy copper wire uh, and you'll shape it into a picture frame shape, your choice, round or square. And then once you have it in the right shape I use a smaller wire to wrap around its neck and so once you're done your little frame will look kind of like this. Once your frame is finished choose your image and I've chosen an image out of a children's um, storybook and shrunk it down several sizes and then trace your image inside of your frame so you've got the right size. Once you have your little image chosen and you've traced it, layer up with several sheets of paper. I use two or three depending on the thickness of the paper, sometimes even four. Trace it, trim it out, and glue it into your little frame. Once you've glued it into the frame and the glue has had a chance to dry, then uh, I use a treasure crystal coat several three coats on the top one coat on the back of course leaving time to dry in between the layers to give it a nice so solid finish so that um, it's waterproof then you'll also make paper beads for this for the necklace strand and for the paper beads I have a little match that I wrap the paper around and I use a paint brush to apply the glue just like I also use the paint brush to apply the glue on the little paper image for the pendant also and for the paper beads you roll it up right around that match as tight as you can. So once you've made matching beads uh, it's up to you how many but I suggest six to eight paper beads for the strand. Once you have your paper beads finished I do like to spray them with a clear sealer before I go any further. So now that we've sprayed the beads with a clear sealer the next step is to string your beads and so I've chosen the beads that the paper matched my pendant. My pendant, the glue has, or the paint has dried and for my stringing material I use a 30 pound weight fishing line and string your beads. So string your paper beads. I've mixed glass beads in with it and uh, with, with your paper beads and then to finish it off in the back with your hook. So when you're finished stringing your necklace you should now have a finished project and that is how you make a paper necklace.